Oh shit. Never mind. Uh yeah. I'll just <clears throat> do this in the orange light. Did I convict you? See, normally those who come to me and and say such things as you said to me, which I posted for the whole world to see, by the way. Those who come to me and with anger and tell me that I'm trying to be better than other people are usually those who are convicted by the Holy Spirit and they don't recognize the fact that he's convicting you normally. You know, back in around 2012, 2013, people used to call me the convictor because I would convict people in their hearts for the wrongs they do amongst the world. So if you're offended by my words, that's on you. That's not on me. See, one of these days you're going to eat your own words. You're going to eat your own words. You shouldn't touch me and you shouldn't come after me. I'm anointed by God. I am his servant. Does that make me better than you? Absolutely not. I am n n no more fragile and susceptible than any other human beings out there. I've proven that, seriously. Zap Tune Bear, Zap Pipers, and they will be bitter. And they are bitter. How dare I speak of the things of spiritual and convict your very soul? I didn't utter a single name, but yet someone who I never talked to or never saw before was convicted enough in their soul to speak such serious, grievous things to me. I spoke those words before, too, a long time ago, and I've, I've gotten my due reward on this earth for that. Will I ever do it again? Absolutely not. I've learned my lesson. I know there's much better things for people to do than D-I-E. I want everyone to repent. I even want myself to repent. And if there's anything I need to repent for, the Lord will guide me to it and show me that my deeds are bad. But those words, you will eat them someday. <laughs> I never did anything to you. You're sounding like a eugenicist, really to tell you the truth. Trying to make someone feel worthless and that, that they don't belong to be heard. You want someone to be silent. That's sad. When your opinion is solely your own, you could have just not listened to me if you hate me so much. I don't care if I'm hated. See, very wise people once taught me, if you're hated, you know you're doing something right.
I'm not bothered by them. I'm trying to use them as an example of how not to be. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be cold to people. Don't say those words to people. I reported your, what you said, by the way, because it's inappropriate. What if a child, oh, can you place it over there? Yeah, masterpiece. Thank you, baby. <laughs> You're the love of my life. Really gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Where was I? Sorry. That's okay. <sighs> See, I I have nothing left to lose in this world. I have my voice. I'm going to use my voice. My voice doesn't hurt anyone. And if you're convicted by my words and you think I'm better than you, you really need to re-examine your head because obviously you didn't listen to what I said. See, maybe it's you projecting and maybe you think I'm better than you. And you're angry that you think I'm better than you. A better believer than you. <laughs> Everything I have is given by God. It's not me. It's him. God is true. And God is real. He always will be real. He always will be true. It's your fault. Your need to lash out on me. Keep it in Jesus. That you're showing who you belong to. I belong to Jesus. I belong to God. That's all I am. That's all there is left. Is me and God. And that's what happens when you take everything from someone as they get closer to God. So, enjoy whatever comeuppance you get. Me, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy my sexy husband. Mm -hmm. I love you. And enjoy my Kit Kats and my dinner and praise God for it. I'm grateful. What are you doing? Peace and Maranatha.